Hi there, and welcome to the Whitesboro Public Library Storytime. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Today we have a book about sharing, and it's a rhyming book. It's a rhyming book about a bear and a rhyming book about a mouse. Ross Collins is our author. Let's see how a bear and a mouse can share a chair. Can a bear and a mouse share a chair? Let's see. As most all our books, it's a big one, so be patient with me. Here we go. Bear looks very happy. Mm, mouse, not so sure about that, but let's go. There's a bear on my chair. Look at that. Kind of, kind of interesting that a bear could fit on a little mouse's chair, but sure enough, there it is. He is so big, it's hard to share. Little mouse is trying to push him over so they can share. There isn't any room to spare. We do not make a happy pair. A mouse and a bear with just one chair. Look at that mouse. He looks like he's determined to get that bear off that chair. Mm. When I give him a nasty glare, he seems completely unaware. He's got a newspaper. It's interesting it's not a phone. I don't know what he's doing there. That bear who's sitting on my chair. I must admit, he has some flair. He has fine taste in leisure wear. Look at that. Kind of a country western look. I'm fond of how he does his hair, but still, I wish he was not there. Look, he looks kind of upset with that big hairdo. Some hair, isn't it? I try to tempt him with a pair to lure him out of my favorite chair. But he just leaves it sitting there. Why won't he go back to his lair? And a lair is kind of like a cave for a bear. And he used that word because it rhymed. It rhymed with there. So if he had said cave, it wouldn't have rhymed. Perhaps if I give him a scare, I'll jump out in my underwear. And he sure enough did. What color is his underwear? Little mouse underwear. You don't see that every day. But no, of course he does not care. That stinky bear sat on my chair. And now look what he's looking at. Looking at his phone. I understand that bears are rare. I know they need the utmost care. I know all that. I am aware, but still I cannot stand. I cannot stand this bear. He won't leave my chair. And this has endangered because some bears are endangered. We have to be careful with the, some of the animals. Hmm. Looks like both of them are in a timeout. They're thinking, what are we going to do about this situation? <sighs> that is it. I'm done. I do declare this bear has led me to despair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm going now, and I don't know where. Look, he's screaming, this little guy. He's very upset, and the bear is just looking at him. Hmm. Well, now the mouse is gone and the bear is looking. Looks like the bear's looking for the mouse. Where'd he go? Huh. Where'd that mouse go? Because he's a polar bear, he's out in the cold, so he's out in the snow. Looks like he's going back home. There's his igloo up there. Bears really live in caves, but in this book, he's living in an igloo. 
So it looks like he's going back home. And hey, there's a mouse in my bed. There's a mouse in my house. And there's that little mouse right on top of his bed. This book down here says, Good Chair Guide. Looks like the little mouse is reading the book and the bear's thinking, Hey, I just left his chair. What's he doing up here? I guess they're sharing, sort of. Sharing, kind of, sort of. There's a bear in my chair and a mouse in my bed. Ah! Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you uh, spending your time with us. Rhyming books are fun to read. So it's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today. So come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye, friends. We'll see you next week. Please don't forget to washy, washy, washy. Be safe out there. Take care.